Good day class. So our lesson for today is about inequalities. This is for simple inequalities. After this lesson, we will have the linear inequalities or inequalities in regions. Now, you can see this one. This is called the set builder notation. We're not going to study this one today. But in a advanced topic about inequalities, you will see the symbol, the cryptic symbol. So I will just show you what is the meaning of this, what you call that one, curly bracket. And you have a line there. And this is our notation. This is called the set notation. It's like this. So when we read this set builder notation, the curly bracket means the set. And whatever variables here will be, because that is x only, all x. And then that vertical line is such that. So if you are going to read this one, it is the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 4 and x is less than 10. That is how to read that cryptic writing or cryptic notation there but we will be using only the set notation this one and the other one we will have also our answer in interval notation okay so i'm going to erase this one now because we will just be confused why are we studying that one you will encounter that one in our quadratic inequalities Okay, let's have this symbol. This one is less than. And the symbol for this one is the unshaded circle. Because we have the line number here. This one is unshaded circle. We are going to put some arrows there. The arrow or the line, if you have the line already for linear inequalities, we will have a dotted line now for this symbol it is less than or equal to this is equal to because of this one so the symbol for this one is the shaded circle and then for linear inequalities or quadratic inequalities we will have a visible not dotted lines anymore the other one is uh, the opposite of the less than. This big is greater than here. So it is unshaded circle and that it also. For this one, it's greater than or equal to. So we have the shaded circle and the visible line here. Okay, let's have example of this for inequalities so I'm going to erase this one and let's have an example so let's have x first x less than 2 ok so x less than 2 we locate the 2 here which is positive so we should have a number line here. Can you see the number line here? Is it uh, the numbers are small? So we have the two here. And you can write here, but I'm not going to write there because we are going to use this one in another example. So I'm going to have a circle. This one is two positive. So I'm going to put here. I'm not going to share this one yet. Because we might have an a equals there. Now we see that this one is less than only. There is no equals here. So we will leave that one as unshaded. Above the 2. Because that one is the 2. Okay. The value of x is less to the left 
is less to the right is more to the right of the zero is positive to the left of the zero is negative the all numbers here are negative all numbers to the right of zero are positive so we draw our arrow pointing to the left okay it's to the left until here can you see this uh, symbol again to the left of the zero it goes through the negative infinity to the right of zero it goes through the positive infinity we are not going to include that one at infinity in our notation nor this negative infinity so that is our graph for this set notation okay if we are going to use the interval notation okay so we have the other one this is used by the pre-calculus students interval notation how do we write this one this graph here so when you see this graph the the writing of the notation is always from left to right so on the left we have the negative infinity so we have here the negative infinity and this one is always the pairing okay and then it goes to the right going to the right up to the two here all right up to the two is it included or not the two is not included therefore because of this one it doesn't have the equals so you must use also this one this one is exclusive this one's exclusive meaning the number near to this one um, the number that is near to that close pairing is excluded or not included in the value the negative infinity and the positive infinity is always using the excluded symbol pairing symbol not the square bracket the square bracket is inclusive this one is exclusive okay so in interval notation that is our answer okay let's have number two what if that one is x is less than or equal to two so again can we erase this one let's erase so we locate again the 2 here, the 2 is here, what do we do with that uh, circle, because of this one is equals, it means that 2 is included, oh my gosh, the 2 is here, oh, okay, that's a 3, so we are going to show you this, mm -hmm. let us show you that one, it's in here but I'm putting that one above, and then the x is less again, less than means so it goes here okay so this one is the set notation but in the interval notation how do we write that one so again start from here we go to the right we have the negative infinity so the negative infinity is always with the exclusive meaning not included this is this negative infinity and it goes to the 2 here so the 2 is here but now that one is shaded so 2 is included in the volume so we write here a square bracket this one is a parent a parent a parent also parenthesis this one is square bracket meaning that 2 is included in the value of x x oh no inclusive exclusive inclusive ok 
start from negative infinity because that one is not included anymore. We start from the negative one. So here we have the negative one here. The next question is, is negative one included? Is it included? No. If that one is not included, then we use a parent here. Okay, a uh, parent means the singular for parenthesis. And it goes through infinity. So here we have the positive infinity. For positive infinity, we use always a parent, meaning exclusive symbol. So that is for number three. Number four, let's have x greater than or equal to negative 1. So, let's erase that one again. Assume number 4. So, where is the negative 1? Negative 1 is here. I'm going to put a circle there. But this time, this one is with equals. So, I'm going to shade it. I'm going to shade the circle there. Now, the x is going where? It's going to the right because this one's big. Alright, so we draw an arrow going to the right, it's there. Then let us write the interval notation. So we start from the left. We cannot start from negative infinity. We start from negative 1. So here we write negative 1. Is negative 1 included in the values? Yes, because it is shaded. Then we are going to use the square bracket meaning negative one is inclusive or included and then comma and it goes through infinity so we have positive infinity here and the infinity goes with a parent like that so those are the examples for the x now for the y if the given is like y is less than 3 then our number line is like vertical so we have 0 here we have 1 here we have 2 there we have 3 there we have negative 1 and negative 2 down here is the negative infinity okay negative infinity and here is the positive infinity now here we start from the bottom and we go up here start from the left from the negative going to the positive it's like uh, moving from the smaller to bigger so we have y less than 3 locate the 3 so I'm going to put here, you can put there, but I'm just putting it there. Now it is unshaded because it has, doesn't have the equal, so it is unshaded. And the less means the arrow is going down, okay. All the values here, the values of y. So that is the set builder notation, this is our graph. And then the internal notation for this is, we write for the negative infinity, but that one is not included, so we have a parent there. 
and we go up to the three. But the three is not included also, so we write like that one. So those are the values of y. If you have equals here, less than or equal to three, then you have to shade this one. It goes down. It's the same uh, pair and negative eight and the three, but this time it's not apparent anymore here. It is a square bracket there.